I scribbled an app idea on a napkin and told AI to build it. Here's what happened. Today I'll be putting Gemini's canvas to the test. A tool that claims it can take hand-drawn sketches and turn it into actual code. It literally says, turn your sketch into an app. There are three things we'll be testing. One, functionality. Does the app actually work out the gate? Two, design. Do we like the way it looks and is this something we would use? And three, interpretation. Does it actually understand the sketch, the drawing that I make on the napkin? Okay y'all, so this is the idea. The idea is to do a journaling app. So the reason why I wanna do this is because we're going to save things and I feel like with AI, it's gonna be the saving things part that it might mess up on, so I'm interested to see. So what I wanna do is have a text box where people can like uh, write stuff. So let's like la la la. Let's call this my diary. Okay, nice. There to be like a prompt every day. Let's write prompt. What are you grateful for and then it should be like a uh, I don't know why I made an arrow right there but <laughs> we'll keep going so then there's an option to save and then there's also an option to Get a new prompt. Here we'll have something like past entries. And then I want the date prompt, the date, the prompt, and then the entry. Okay, y'all, so this is the idea. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward this part because it's just me recapping and yapping and drawing random arrows. Can you code this app? Oh my gosh, okay. I can't hide my excitement. Let's do it. We have our sketch. And I'm recording. Okay. Return. Ah! <laughs> What's going on here? I need to get the relevant content to answer the user's questions. The user wants me to code an app based on provided sketch to the X. Ooh, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, okay, okay. So HTML going on. We got the JavaScript. Okay, so let's see. Oh, wow. Uh, I need to stop making my bubble so big. Okay, okay, perfect. There we go. Okay, I actually want to read this. I'm trying to scroll up, but it's kind of not letting me scroll up. Let's get started with the code. Okay, this looks promising. We got all the HTML. Ah! Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, okay. So, what are you grateful for today? I'm grateful. For being healthy and just even being able to test stuff like this, I'm grateful for. And being able to test new technology. Okay, great. So let's save. Wow. Okay, entry saved successfully like that. I'm grateful for to be breathing. I'm grateful for to be breathing, healthy, and being able to test new technology. Okay, wow. Yes, that is the correct date, y'all. This is cool. I can't even, I didn't think it was gonna do this well. So at this point, I tried two more prompts, and then I was like, okay, I wanna see how good this really is. So I came up with eight different tests to stress test this. So this is 2,477 words. So let's see if it's able to store all of this. Okay. Save entry. 
I mean, wow. Let's see how it does with emojis. That's one thing. Let's do my, let's just do some random emojis. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. It, it did emojis. Will it save an empty thing? Wow, well, okay, good for you. It did not save an empty thing. Okay, let's see if I type something. Hello, and then I say new prompt. Yes, yeah, so give me a new prompt. Let's see, what are you looking forward to? If you could talk to your younger self. So it is repeating. It will get like one point off. Okay, let's try, let's try to hack this a little bit. If I wrote a script, and then let's have an alert that says, you've been hacked. So what this should do is it should save it as an entry. If it actually creates an alert box, then this is a vulnerability. So let's see. Oh, y'all. Oh. Well, it didn't save anything. That's interesting. Let's try it again. This is a string. Okay. Something I want to try. Div. Div. This is a div. If I type space, 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 save entry. Nice. Tab, tab. Oh, nice. You can tab through things. That's very accessible. Yeah, that's great. Okay, y'all. So let's rate each of the different categories. So for functionality, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. So it saved two blank journal entries. So in the future, it shouldn't do that. But y'all, 9 out of 10 is super strong. I did not expect that truly at all. So for design, I like simple designs. If I saw that website, I wouldn't be like, oh my god. I think I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I was surprised too. I was like resizing the window. I checked it out on mobile. They both looked great. It was a simple minimalist design and it was good. So eight out of 10. And then for interpretation, y'all, all I gave it was this sketch. That is insane to me. It understood what I wrote. It understood what I wanted it to do. Interpretation, zero complaints. Like it knew I wanted the new prompts to be at the top, it labeled it my diary, understood my little la 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 stuff that I was writing, that random arrow, it didn't get confused by it, and then it saved all of that. 10 out of 10 for interpretation. Y'all, we have to test it out with something harder, okay? So if you have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what score you would have gave it for functionality, design, and interpretation, and I'll see you in the next video.